I logged into my personal AWS account today and noticed on the right hand side, there is a new feature called as Amazon Q. Amazon Q is a generative AI assistant from AWS. I believe this is coming on the back of the currently happening AWS reInvent, which is all about generative AI and data from AWS perspective. And they, I believe they were just waiting for this event to introduce this Gen AI tool. Anyway, this Gen AI assistant is very easy to use as is the case with other uh, Gen AI assistants out there. Amazon Q is primarily a generative AI powered conversational chatbot or assistant that can help you understand, build, extend, and operate AWS applications as well as answers questions about AWS, including but not limited to those about support, architecture, best practices, and documentation. Also, Amazon Q will be learning um, from the customer's data too, it seems, but it won't, but the security is paramount. It won't store your data or process it, but whatever questions you are going to ask, they will be stored in North Virginia region, it seems. Amazon Q additionally provides software development assistance, including code explanation, code generation, and code improvement, such as debugging and optimization. Amazon Q is powered by Amazon Bedrock, which is a fully managed service that makes large language models available through an API and has been augmented with high quality AWS content to get you more complete, actionable, and referenced answers to accelerate your building on AWS. So just to give you a few of the top features of this queue, first you can chat with Amazon Q and you can just ask any questions in natural language in English, of course, about AWS service selection. For example, you can ask which EC2 instance to use, what is VPC, what are the well-architected well -architected framework pillars, CLI usage, if you want to know the exact syntax of any CLI command, you can use it and a lot of other best practices. Amazon Q also uses the context of your conversation to inform future responses for the duration of your conversation or during your session with AWS. You can also uh, use Amazon Q to do code improvements such as within IDEs like VS Code, you can ask Amazon Q questions about software development and it will help you out in improving your code and even it can generate new code for you. You can use it um, to understand errors in the AWS console and provide access to live support agents to address your AWS questions and problems. Also, Amazon Q uses information and feedback. You submit through feedback forms to provide support to help fix technical issues. And I believe there is also some pricing associated with it. It is not a free tool. So make sure that you are aware of it. And let me quickly uh, find out how much cost it is for it is. And I will share it with you. So if you see on your screen, this is the cost. Let me make it a bit bigger. So the cost of it is around $20 per month for the business one per user. So if you have hundreds of users using it, it could really go out of hand fairly quickly. Um, and then if you are a builder and business expert, expert, then you can use, then it will be $25 per month. So um, this is the difference between Q Builder and Q. Q is simply the for business one. It is only about your organization knowledge and stuff, but the Q Builder is expert in whole AWS and it is quite comprehensive one too. Okay, now let's go back to our AWS console and you can ask any question here. For example, I'm going to ask it, what are five pillars of well architected framework? And then press enter taking a bit of a time. So as soon as I have pressed enter, it has taken me after a few seconds to this screen. It is processing my request and let's wait for it to come back. And there you go. It has provided us a coil, but a well uh, formatted answer, which uh, and all of these five pillars are spot on. And then maybe I will ask it to generate me a CLI command. 
write out AWS site AWS PLI command to get name of all VPCs in account. Press enter. Let's wait for it to come back. So despite of the fact that it says in documentation it can generate CLI commands, um, it doesn't. So you can maybe if I would integrate it with some ID, maybe then it will work. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, but there are a lot of other conceptual questions, I believe, which you can ask from Amazon Q. And maybe it is an early days. So let's wait to see how it goes. And they also have quite a good documentation, which you can follow on AWS website and I'll drop the link in video description too. So that's it guys, let me know your thoughts on it. I think it's a good uh, thing and this is the future. We will be seeing these sort of Gen AI assistant in almost every application and a lot of other uh, cloud providers already have it. Amazon is a bit late to the party, but that's fine, not too late. Thanks for watching and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.